Rock Computer College. Define quality training in information technology. Bulleted and numbered lists can be used in your documents to outline, arrange, and emphasize text. Now, in this lesson, I'll teach you how to modify existing bullets, insert new bulleted and numbered lists, and select symbols as bullets. Now, to create a, a bulleted list, select the text that you want to format as a list. So, I'll select this. Then on the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the bullet commands. So click on the drop down arrow. Now from here, you can choose any kind of bullet that you want to use. So let's say choose this one, then click on that one. And if you click on that, the text will be formatted as a bulleted list. Now when you're editing a list, you can press enter to start a new line, and the new line will automatically have a bullet or number. So I've bulleted this list and I want to continue adding to it. Just click enter and it will come with a new enter icon, a new bullet icon over here. But if you want, if you've reached the end, then you want to stop formatting it as a bulleted list. Just click enter twice. And you see the enter, the bulleted list will stop from there. So that's one thing. The another thing to remove numbers or bullets from a list. You can just select the list and click the bulleted or numbered list command. So I want to remove the bullets from this list. I'll just select it, just like that, then click on the bullet command. And as you can see, I've removed the bullets. The same with numbers. You click, you select the list, then you click on the numbers command and they will disappear. Now let's look at how to create a numbered list. Again, select the text you want to format as a list. So I'll select this. Then on the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the numbering command. This one. Now you can choose the type of numbering that you want. You can do it in romance, letters, in any way that you want. So select whichever it is. Then as you can see, I've numbered my list. Again, if I want to remove the letters or the numbering from my list, just select the text, then click on this icon, the numbering command icon, and the numbering will be removed just like that. Now, you can customize your bullets, so you can use symbols as a bullet. And to do this, select the list that you want to format. So, again, I'll select this. Now, on the home tab, click the drop down arrow next to the bullets command over here. Then select define new bullet. Now, from here, you can click on symbol. Then choose from the symbols that you see over here. You know, you can choose any symbol that you want. So, uh, let's, you can also change the font from here. So, if I click on this, I can change the font that I want to work with from here. You see, there are many for there are lots, there are lots of fonts that you can work with. So you can change. Uh, I'm going to use windings. Then I can select the type of symbol that I want to use as a bullet. So choose any. Uh, let's say I'll choose this one. Then click on OK. It will give you a preview of how that will look like. Then click OK. And you just added symbols as your bullets. So let's do that again. Click on the drop down arrow, go to define your bullet. Under symbols, click on that. Then choose the symbol that you want to work with. Any symbol that you want to work with. So I'll choose a different one this time. I'll choose this one. Then click OK. It will give you a preview. Then click OK. And as you can see, my bullet has changed and I'm using symbols as my bullets so that's how you use symbols as bullets now you can also change the bullet color you can also change the bullet color and to do this select the existing list you want to format so you have to select the list first then on the home tab click the drop down arrow next to the bullets command then go to define new bullet and from here go to font Click on that and then you can change font color. So I can come here and change the font color. So let's say I want a blue. 
a blue symbol. I'll click on that. It will give you a preview over here. Click OK. Give me another preview over here. Click OK. And as you can see, my symbol has changed its color from black to blue. So you can change your symbols or your bullet colors from black to any color that you want to work with.